Hello friends, Lord Verminard, back in my garage. And I just remembered that I bought this piece of crap last time. So this should be fun. Uh, this thing is is pretty roached. It, it needs a lot of work. It needs a lot. So I think the first thing we need to do is just kind of start stripping it down and see what's good and what's not. Um, we don't have a ton of money either, so we're going to probably have to buy some things for it. Um... It appears to be mostly straight. So at least there's that. So where do we start here, I guess? Well, this fender is completely just roached. Let's, uh, let's first grab Mr. Hammer here and see what can be wanged out. Okay. That's it. <laughs> We're done. Yeah, apparently there's... Not much that can be done with that. See, this body line doesn't quite look right. But I can't fix it, apparently. This is going to be our next project car, so I'm going to try not to nickel and dime it too much here. But I think the first thing to do is just to get rid of some of this broken crap. Hello? Hello? Uh, how many bolts hold this thing on? It's been a minute since I've done a wolf, so... There it is. There's three. There it is. Should be it. Yep. Okay. So this is definitely junk. So, in you go. Um, does this look... Inner fender look straight? No, it does not. And it's probably not going to let me pound that out. It will not. That's interesting that it's letting me hit more stuff now that I took that part off. I think I'm just going to have to... I think I'm just going to have to remove all of that. It's, it's all got to come off. Uh, okay, so... Those are held on by screws. What is this core support held on with? This is clearly mangled. This bumper... This bumper actually looks kind of good. I don't know where the... There they are. I think you're meant to take the trim off first before you... Before you do that, but... Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, see, that's not... That's not really good either. This trim piece is broken. I think we'll just get rid of it. It's probably... I'm probably gonna be triggering all kinds of people with this video. Oh my god, you could have used that. Uh, you know, I, maybe I could have, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. See, that's, that piece is broken. This one... Might not be, but it has crap on it, so I'm going to get rid of that too. My Audi Coupe Quattro had little, little pieces like that right under the headlights. Same as this. Same as this old Mercedes here. Um... So, screwdriver. There you are. This headlight is junk. This one's good, I guess. I don't know if there's different headlight options for this car. But I guess I'll just keep my options open. That is clearly bad right there. There you go. Um, and there, was there a marker light on this side? No, there wasn't. Okay, so... Is this, is this all welded in? It shouldn't be. But it looks like it is, huh? Oh, well, that's fun. Alright. I thought I threw you away already. Alright. Um, well, Mr. Cutting Wheel, I guess, is what it's time for. We're just going to start cutting. I think this inner fender here is good. Ah, it's hard to tell. I don't know. Is that Does that look right to me, to you guys or not? 
Well, let's start with this bit. Because we know this part is not good. Yes, and see, I'm using my headlight here. Someone was like, oh, wait till he discovers the headlight. It's like, I've been using the headlight the entire time. <laughs> In reality, I usually I forget to turn it off. Like, it's almost always on. <laughs> I know about the headlight, guys. Everybody was like making fun of my, you know, picking up these lights or, or whatever. <laughs> yes, I know about the headlights. They don't, it doesn't do much. See, look. That's not a huge difference. Turn on these bastards. That's a huge difference right there. All right. Um. Okay, let me finish cutting this this panel out right here, which should be that and that and that. And I need a new disc. Um, I'm stuck. Okay, I don't know what the heck happened there. Couldn't. Couldn't move, couldn't pick anything up. All right. That happens to everyone, I guess, from the time. All right, so that whole thing should come out. Well, it probably won't until I unbolt the suspension, which is all junk anyway. Uh, here, let's just do this, 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 and that. Yeah? No. Not happy. Why aren't you just springing off of there? See, that was loose. That's loose. That's loose. That's loose. I don't want to have to unbolt every single individual thing here. Aha! There we go. Okay, so that control arm's bad. This strut is bad, which it's not letting me remove for some reason. There we go. So I think the reason why I think this will make a good race car is because this has a pretty sophisticated suspension setup, at least compared to the other junk in this game. Um... It looks as though we have a good brake disc and hub on this side. So there's that. Uh, what is this? The right side? Here, I'm going to put my parts on the side where they came from. Just to help keep things straight. And I could have probably just left that together, but I think I want to be able to actually physically see everything that I'm dealing with. So... Okay. All right, so now, why won't this come off? What am I missing here? Everything is unbolted. Oh, missed a spot there, too. Was there one here on this side? Yes, there is. Bonk. Is this good or not? See, I think my hammer kind of fixed this a little bit, didn't it? Well, to my untrained eye, that looks like a good part. So let's keep it for now. I guess we'll find out when I go to put it back together and the new one won't go on. See, this spring is good, but I think there are various different spring options. Looks like I'm going to have to unbolt all this crap, too. Man. All right. Looks like the only thing that's good is this. What is that? Steering link? Yeah, okay. Which, I could have sworn that these Mercedes had rack and pinion steering, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. That's junk. All right. So now, why won't you come out? Are there bolts on this subframe? What? I 
I don't see any. Uh, um, it's been a long time since I've done a wolf in this game. A long time. Okay, so that's all cut. See, that's for the rocker and stuff. Doesn't help me now. That's for the floor pan. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a floor pan weld there. Uh, that one, yeah, that's the same one. There's got to be a way to remove this inner fender, right? That's a, that's a part that I can buy? Well, let's consult the little book and see. It's a wolf in his body. Uh, this car has a bunch of body parts. Left front panel. See, yeah, there it is right there. That's the one. Or actually, I guess that'd be the right one. Uh, right front panel, this guy. Yes, this is what we need right here. So how the hell does this attach? Oh, I see. It's got a little bit that kicks back there. Oh, shoot. So maybe it does. Maybe I do need to cut that one, that one weld. This one. Wait for it. That wasn't it. All right, so I wonder if there's a if there's a bolt-on part or something there. Oh, we'll just shove this under the car and see what we can find here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> no need to be gentle with it right now. Okay, so that is the transmission support, which we don't need to worry about. This part right here is there a is there a weld there? Aha! There you are. Boing. There it is. Excellent. Okay, you can go in the trash. And we'll just stick this one on now. And that way I can compare it with the one on this side and see if they're the same, which they appear to be. Mr. Welder. Aha. Ah, damn it. All right. <laughs> One stupid weld left. I, I really... Escape goes mentioned this before, too, but I wish you could get a MIG welder. It just has a spool of wire that lasts a lot longer. I, I don't know too many people, body men, that would... Or women, that would be using a stick welder to put body panels back on a car. That just doesn't seem like something that most normal people would do these days. While I'm under here... Let's see, we've got... Oh god, we've got no drive shaft, so I don't have to worry about removing that. This transmission is borked. It's also a 5-speed automatic, so nobody wants that. Okay... Not that in the United States, anyways, you could find a Mercedes of this generation with a manual transmission. I know that they exist, but I have never personally laid eyes on one. Which is unfortunate. I need to get this crappy windshield out of here now. So, let's do that. There we go. <laughs> if only it was that easy. And then we gotta... Oh... We gotta take this here cowl off too, I think. Look at that. It takes this whole thing off. Okay. You can go over here, I guess. And we could take this crazy 
wiper motor setup off. If you've ever seen one of the uh, Mercedes of this generation's wiper motor setup, it's freaking crazy. I have some friends that call it the, the Pleasure-matic. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you see how they operate, you'll know what I'm talking about. All right. <laughs> All right, yeah. So let's uh, let's investigate this front end here. Yeah. So this one, this end looks kind of wonky too. I think it looks like that on purpose. So I think these are good. Okay. Well, that um, that worked out pretty good, I say. This dash good? Yeah, it looks like it. What about the floor pans? I need to I need to take all that carpet and crap out too. Yeah, that's a that's a whole thing. Ah! All right, this door panel's junk. I can get rid of it. There isn't one on this side, so we don't have to worry about that. Actually, no, this dash isn't good. Damn. Well, that sucks. All right. Let's get the rest of this garbage off. Master cylinder is good though. <laughs> so there's that. Um, what now? But yeah, I guess I gotta start ripping the interior out. That's fun. This sea is junk. Oi, come on. The seat is junk. I'm gonna get rid of it. Uh, I might. Actually, you know, I'm not. So say I'm not going to keep these seats. Even though they're good, so they're going to go in our in our uh, wrecker. Oh, wrecker. That makes me think of Bad Batch. If anybody's watched Bad Batch, oh my god, how good is Bad Batch? If you haven't watched Bad Batch and you're a Star Wars fan, you need to watch Bad Batch. I'm telling you right now. All right. This is junk. Out it goes. Okay. Mr. Carpet. How do we deal with you? I forget. This shifter. Is this shifter automatic specific? It does not look like an automatic shifter. It says gear stick, so I can probably still use it. So off you go into this aisle O parts. Okay, carpet. Does that does it even have carpet? I don't think it has carpet. I don't think so. I think it's a it's a separate piece that's not there. So get the dash out of here, I guess. There it is, and we'll just throw this in the trash. <laughs> there may be some good stuff that I could have used from it, but I'm not going to bother. Like I said, I'm not going to try and cheapskate this one too much. Oh, I need to uh, pop that emblem off. I think that's how you do that. Yep, there it is. An airbag or something. Uh, again, probably going to use a aftermarket steering wheel. Looks like this column is good, too. All right. In the pile you go. Whoop. And automatic pedals are, well, they can go in here since they're still good. All right. Uh, hey, this thing is 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 stripping rather nicely. Let's go ahead and take this door off too, just so it's not in the way. Oh, right, looks like I already took this one off. Oh, there's the door panel. It's bad. Oh my God! Pick it. What the hell? Okay. 
<laughs> this game sometimes. And this door is good too, right? I think it is. All right, this is the passenger door. Go over here. All right. Driver door. You go over here, and the mirrors are even good. This one have good mirrors? Doesn't have mirrors at all. Okay. Ah, now what? Um, rearview mirror. Lost my screwdriver. Where'd you go? How are you guys doing? What's everybody up to? I'm doing pretty good. I, uh, sorry if my voice sounds a little weird. I took a Claritin this morning, which I normally don't like to take any kind of allergy medicine, but man, it was rough this morning. Let me tell you. All right, this is bad, so it's going in the trash. So my throat is a little bit dry, just because Claritin kind of dries you out a little bit, so... I apologize if I sound funny. Uh, that doesn't appear to have the trim on it, does it? It does not. This one does, though, right? Yes. And is this good? It looks good to me, so I'll keep it. Right, okay. Is there any other crap I need to take off with this tool? Don't think so. What is it? Oh, this bit. Trunk trim. Well, how about that? All right, so that's good. So I can go over here in my good pile. Uh, does this crap come off? I think it does somehow. But if I don't need to worry about it right now, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, th then those are interior trunk panel trims as well. Oh, look at this. There's a piece here too. There are a lot of parts on this car. There we go. I think that what I really want to do... Uh, is get it up on the lift now. To deal with any undercarriage issues. And also to be able to get off the rear suspension. Ah! Okay, we'll just shove it over here. Shove that over there, as one does. Uh, push it. Yes. There we go. Perfect. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why aren't you? There we go. Jeez. This game is a real freaking struggle sometimes. Just to do basic crap. Why? No. Why are you doing that? Okay. <laughs> Click on the thing and move it over there. And of course, it's going to do that on this side. Yeah. <sighs> All right, that's fun. So I can't do this, I guess. Great. Why can't I push that over? Okay, here, we're going to do this. And just make it fit. There we go. <laughs> All else fails, force it. Okay, and I'll just move that over a little bit that way. Yeah, it appears to be kind of stuck now. And now this leg isn't... Oh my god. Okay. 
No, don't come all the way freaking out. Piece of crap. All right. I don't remember having this problem with the, with the lift before. <sighs> Holy crap. All right. Can we lift this thing now? Up. <sighs> okay. <laughs> um, wheels. These wheels are... Awful. Not going to deal with that. You can just go straight into here. Um, is that the only wheel this car had? Was that one? <laughs> That's awesome. All right. This rear shock is bad. What do we got over here? That rear shock is bad. Oh my god. All of this is bad. Every single bit of it. Oh my god. Yes, the entire rear suspension is bad. You know what? I'm not going to mess with the trouble of getting two, two stinking control arms out of it. I'm throwing this whole thing away. Plop. There it goes. All going in Z trash. Ten freaking bucks. All right. <laughs> okay, this. Oh, that looks dented. Crap, am I going to have to fix that too? Will Mr. Hammer get it? Ah, uh, nuts. I wonder. Well, this side looks the same. I don't know if that's bad or not. Also, I should have taken the taillights out before I did this. All right, let's get... Oh, shit. I'm kicking all my tools all over the shop here. All right, let's get Mr. Sandblaster. And let's go to town here. Ugh, okay. <laughs> That's it, we're out. Yeah, that doesn't appear to be rust. Yeah, something doesn't quite look right back there. Uh, I suppose we will hit it with some Bondo and see what happens. Get this. Ah, geez, now I'm tripping over this crap over here. All right. Ah, uh, yes. This is the easy way to do rockers. Now, usually... These wolf rockers are a complete butt. They, uh... It looks like they're clean, but they're not. That looks pretty clean to me, though. That looks pretty clean. Um, okay. I don't think there's much rust left on this thing, is there? There may have been some on the top. Uh, let's get this thing out of the way and bring it down and take a look. I'm actually really surprised I don't have to replace any floor pans or anything in it. Considering how bad, like, the rest of the car was. Okay, just pick it up, dude. Just pick it up. I'm trying my nerves today here. Let's see, that's not rust in there. Uh... Don't see any there. Little bit right there. I think that's it. This thing is uh 
pretty rust free. I'm gonna go ahead and pop those panels out in there too, real quick, just to be just to be safe. All right, I can't can't move the trolley now. Here, just move you over there. Also can't find my wrench. There it is. All right. <laughs> One of those days. Pretty sure there was only one bolt for each one of those. Yeah. Okay, we'll get these. Holy crap. Okay, you can go there, I guess. That's fine. I was going to say, I want to put them over here out of the way, but I guess that's where they want to live, so they can live there. Yeah, so I think it's time for a wash. And then we'll get out the Bondo and see what we can fix here. Yes, wash away all the sins. All the sins of being a German car. <laughs> uh, I kid, I kid. Uh, again, for those that are, are new to the channel, I almost exclusively have... Well, right now, I do exclusively own German cars. All Volkswagens, one Audi. Um, but I've also driven them for most of my life, so I'm uh, I'm 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 pretty hooked, I guess you could say. I've taken all the cooler that I can take when it comes to German cars. I think. Now that being said, I've never owned a BMW or a Mercedes. I've worked on both of them, but I've never actually owned one. I'm not saying that I won't someday. I might. If the right one comes along, but I also have to be able to afford a BMW or Mercedes, and that's something that I definitely can't do right now. All right. She clean. So now there's rust right there. I need to deal with that. So now I will consult the, the machine. To see what it says about the rust situation on this car. Not that it really matters, because this is going to be like my race car, so... Yeah, rust is good. Sweet. This thing did have, didn't have very much rust at all, actually. Uh, so what do we do now? Ah, rewash that bit that I missed. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll drive me nuts. Uh, it's not coming clean. Maybe it's rust. Boom, gone now. All right. Where to put me hose, or did it go back to where it lives? Yes, it went back to where it lives. Okay, that's good. Just wash this door off here real quick. And the other one, wherever it is, over here. So yeah, someone had a brilliant idea that I want to try to do. Uh, maybe this episode, I don't know if I get around to it or not. Um, but he said... Whoa, crap. He said to take the the other wheel changer that I have that's back at my house and bring it to the shop over here so that whenever I buy wheels and tires, I can, I can assemble them right there. Like, holy crap, what a brilliant idea that is. Actually, well, actually, let's just do that now. Take taxi to house. 
Oh, I don't have the move tool, though. Oh, well, I can fix that. Um. Hang on, I'm not going to leave my junk laying around, either. Ah. All right, back, back to the garage. Uh, we will grab the move tool. Wait, can I put that in my bag? I can. Excellent. All right. Back to the house. Move tool. Grab this. And let's see. This way? Do to do. Might speed this up. Might not. I don't know. <laughs> it's not very exciting to watch me carry a tire mounting machine through the woods here, but I mean everybody does this every day, right? This is just the normal thing that everyone does. Yes. Her. Delayed jump. <laughs> Plow sail. Okay. Don't mind me, folks. Just carrying a tire mounting machine. Perfectly normal thing to do. This is going to make things so much easier. Some might argue that it would be faster to use the truck, although I kind of disagree. I think it was probably faster to do it this way. Since I've got the taxi ability. Now, if only I could figure out a way to stuff this into my backpack. <laughs> that would be great. Got something clipping through the side of my truck there. That's cool. All right. All right. Here we are. Hey, could I bring my car to your shop one day? Hey, I've got I've got the deal of a lifetime for you, buddy. Um, where do you want this thing? How about we throw it right here, right here? There you go. You got your own tire mounting machine. You're welcome. All right. Uh, here we'll just just do that. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, anyways, back to what I was doing. Try to itch my nose. I gotta take a drink too, because I like the Sahara over here. Right. Okay, let's take these taillights out, because it's driving me nuts. That I've forgotten to do it like four times. Uh, excuse me? That's just one. Noise. All right, it's the left side. Doink. Right side. There we go. Okay. What now? Um, I guess it's time to make this thing a roller, right? Or should we start? Going to town with Bondo. I think that's a good thing to, to do. Yeah, I thought this this fender looked a little weird. I would say it definitely needed a bit of correction. I'm going to have to probably go under it to do that. That rocker needed a bit, too. I hope that part isn't too screwed up, because... I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. I just... I just chop it off and buy a new one, I guess, but... You know what I mean. I like to think that I didn't get a complete, total piece of crap car.
other side. It looks like that whole whole roof rail took a took a hit at some point. Why was it giving me the icon for the trunk trim? It's weird. Huh, weird. Oh, this fender's not straight either. All right, where are you hiding? Ah, there you are. Looks like both those panels are supposed to be that way, so I guess we'll just leave it. Uh, so all that's left is this rocker here. Okay, cool. That wasn't so bad. And maybe the doors. Might have to do some stuff on the doors, but... Let's lift her back up. Oh, it's sliding around on the lift there. That's always fun. Oh, it looks like that part's done too. Yeah, this wasn't bad at all. I was expecting it to be way worse. Sweet. We might get this sucker together in a in a relatively easy time frame here. We got to figure out a color, but I guess the first thing I need to do is get the suspension done. And this is a. <clears throat> I might not even have enough money for it. All right, so suspension. Let's start with the rear. Um, adjustable or low? That's the question. I feel like I still might have some rally stages to do, so adjustable. I was just going to start with the rear for now. Uh, and we need a differential. 3.2 or 3.8. We're going to go with a 3.8 diff. All right. Rear shock. Two of those. Left rear, right rear control arm. Two rear hubs. Two rear carriers. Uh, two half shafts. A rear cross member. And four rear control arms. I think that's everything. All right. Uh, let's vacuum up whatever I can here. All right. Well, first thing that has to go in is this. So, plunk, there you go. And let's get this up. Whoops, up a little bit more. Mr. Wrench, where'd you go? Here. All right. Any other big parts? Yep, differential. In you go. Uh, let's see, does it bolt in up there? Yes. There's just one there. So there's just one. Okay, cool. Easy. 
What else do we got? Uh, so like I need to empty my empty my bag. All right, there's a spring. Uh, rear left carrier. Control arm. Uh, lower control arm left side. Half axle. Control arm there. Another spring. Uh, move tool. Go there. Uh, this, 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 this. All right. And rear hub. Rear shock. Another control arm. Another shock. Another control arm. Uh, another hub. Hub carrier and another half axle. Okay. Look at me being all freaking organized and, and crap. <laughs> that lets us do this much faster. There we go. And we got a control arm there. And another one up there. And then we got a carrier and all that crap bolts to it. Boom. Yes. And a shock. Right there. Got it. Oh wait, there's one more. There's one more control arm. Nuts. I need I need two more of those guys. Suspension. Rear controller, where are you at? Two more. Okay. At least I'm pretty sure that's the right part. Yes, there it is. Uh-oh. Well, I just got eaten by the car. I have to worry about that when I, when I take it down, I guess. Okay. There's that and this. Excellent. And I need my sprang tool, which is, where would that be? There you are. Whoop. There we go. All right, next side. See, this is easy. Uh, especially when, after your, after your guy, like, picks up the parts. It's much easier when he when he picks things up. <laughs> it's usually easier to work on stuff when you pick the things up instead of just leaving them lay there. I don't know about you guys, but that's that's usually how you do it. For some reason this game seems to have different ideas about that, but you know whatever. One, two, three. That goes in there. This goes there. That bolts there. This goes here. There and there. This. That. There. Easy. Easy every time. All right, let's drop it down and see if I can find that control arm that went, that went AWOL there. There you are. All right. Let's 
try that again. There. It fell out again. What the hell's going on? Did it go back into the car? Oh no, it's in the right place. Ugh, that was freaking me out there for a minute. Uh, hello? There we go. Also, I'm not sure what's going on with this thing. It keeps, like, glitching out and sort of freaking me out a bit. Hopefully that doesn't mean the whole suspension is going to come flying off. Also, what is... This is looking weird here. Oh, it's doing it on both sides, so... That's probably fine. Probably because of the lowering suspension. Here, let's... Alright, that's, so that's where it was stock. So let's loosen it to... And see what kind of ride height we get there. All right. Well, that was fun. And it looks like we have enough money to do the front suspension, too. So let's do that. All right. So we have a front cross member already. Don't we? Uh... It's that, right? I think, or is that just the the engine cross member? No, that's this whole bit right here. Okay. All right. Well, that should be good. Um. So we need a front left hub carrier, front right hub carrier, front left control arm, front right control arm, two struts. Um. Steering arm, steering box. Let's see. I have a steering link already. Two tie rods. Two adjustable springs. And two front hubs. That should be it, right? Vacuum up all the parts. We are full. Okay, so we got a front spring, front spring, a front left control arm, a front right control arm, front shock, front shock, tie rod, uh, steering arm, tie rod. Uh, there's the steering link right there. Crap, I already had a good... Uh, damn it. <laughs> I knew I was going to forget that. That's why usually I just junk everything. And we're going to get rid of this spring because I'm not going to use the stock springs. And I bought a hub already, so I don't need this one. All right. Uh, rest of the parts. Apparently I can't put this in my backpack. That makes sense. All right, so then we have a front left hub carrier, hub, another hub, hub carrier. Okay. And I got to do the brakes and stuff too, I know that. All right, well, first things first. There's that. There we go. Uh, there's that. There's a strut. Oh, I got it. So say I didn't think I was going to be able to reach it. Front hub. Um, is there an upper control arm? 
Guess not. Yeah, because it's a McPherson style. Yeah. Yes, yeah, quite. Uh, spring compressor. There we go. Yeah, front suspension on this thing is is pretty basic. It's actually quite a bit simpler than those uh, than most of the muscle cars with those goofy portion front suspension BS. <laughs> okay, there's that. This got it. Front hub. There it is. All right, steering box uh, goes someplace over here. Or not. Or does the steering column have to be in before I can install that? Ah, nuts. Okay. Also, isn't there a um, steering idler thing also? Did I not see that? Uh, where are you? Is that st Oh, here it is. No, I have that part already. I am confused. Uh, all right, well, let's put the steering column back in first. Maybe that needs to be there. Oh, it's got a bad switch on it. Ugh. Fine. In the bin you go. Steering column. Now there's no way I'm going to be able to bolt that in. There we go. All right, back up. Uh, what the damn hell? How did all this crap get there? Well, that was weird. That was not there before, right? Am I, I'm not imagining things. Because here's the... This goes on this side, doesn't it? What is going on here? This is very confusing. Well, I know this part goes on. Okay, I think there's a bug going on here. Yes, something is broken. Something's broke. All right, so let's take this steering box off. And it appears to be good, right? All right, so now let's... Now let's stick it back on there. And see if our tie rod's going now. They do not. What is going on here? Uh... Is there something I'm missing? I don't think there is. Hmm. 
There. Springs in there? Was it was it bitching about that? Alright, this is real weird. All right, let's take this one out because normally I think you're you're supposed to be able to unbolt this part here because that's what this is, and it's not letting me do that. So let me grab the other one out of this truck. All right, new steering box. This is the one that I just bought. Oh, where'd my wrench go? Oh, right there. So yeah, now that the tie rod should go right there. But it's not letting me do it. <sighs> what the hell's going on here? And also, I thought there was supposed to be another part there. And I can't unbolt that. What is going on? This is driving me nuts here. Is the, It wouldn't be in any other thing, right? It's certainly not a body panel. All right, back to suspension here. Doesn't matter what I have selected for engine. So there's the hub carrier, front left, front right. Rear hubs, which I already have. Lower control arm, front. Front shocks. Steering link, steering arm, steering box, tie rod. I don't see the idler thing. I'm pretty sure, let me buy a new one of these, I guess. Maybe the other one I have is bad and it's not letting me install it. Nope, that's not doing it either. <sighs> All right, well, let me do my favorite fix. Hold on just a second here. A few moments later. Okay, we're back. Did this fix anything? All right, so this is still here. That's good. We should be able to take a tie rod. And it just won't install. Steering link. Won't install. Steering arm, which I think goes here. Oh, wait. Holy crap, that worked this time. All right, so now, well, let me put this in. Yes. I don't know. I still think there was something wrong because I tried to put that steering link there before because that's where it goes. Now these will work. Yes. Okay. All right. Hello. There we go. Oh, 
Oh my god, we did it. Holy crap. Okay. <clears throat> All right, we're still getting we're still a little bit low on cash here, but we are are really powering through this. Why did those come out? Do they bolt on inside here? Oh, they do. Ha. Huh. How about that? Yep, that'll do it. And of course, you can't see all the bolts, so you have to guess where they are. Standard German six bolt axle flange, though, is pretty easy to deal with. Got him. Okay. All right. So now that that mystery is solved, <laughs> we can get on to... This truck moved. It wasn't that... It wasn't blocking this much of the... It, whatever. I don't care. Um... So brakes. We need to do brakes now, I guess. Uh, I really wish there were upgraded brakes in this game. I'm going to sleep till daytime as well. All right. All cars. We've got a uh, wolf. Brakes. We need four of those. We need those. We need those. We need that. We need one front brake disc. We need both rears. We need one caliper. I can't remember which one. We need both rears. Uh, I don't think it had a handbrake or a handbrake cable. So we need all of that. And which one of those calipers did I have that was good? That was the, the right front, wasn't it? So we need a left front caliper. Front left. There it is. All right. Vacuum all the parts. Let's see, that's a rear disc. Um, front left caliber, main brake line, front pads, rear pads, uh, handbrake lever. One brake line. Rear left caliper, rear right caliper. Uh cool. I can't Okay, that was weird. Couldn't add anything to my bag. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? All right. Rear brake disc. Front brake disc. Uh, brake line there. Brake line there. Brake line there. I feel like I'm missing something. We have... No. We have this. And my caliper actually looks like the caliper has disappeared. Yep, caliper disappeared. So I need a new caliper anyway. Cool. Love it when that happens. Why bother saving anything? All right. <laughs> Good lord. Okay, we can do this. This is this is easy. Uh that goes there. I need a screwdriver. This wait, I need the pads, which are right here. Uh, 
All right. Yep. This is the way it's going to be, I guess. There we go. Okay. Wrench, 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 wrench. And yes, I tighten that. Okay. Uh, main brake line. Just whip this in here like that. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. Holy cow. Having some real issues with parts just flying away today. Okay, those went in that time. Good. There's that. And this. Loaded caliper. Oh my god, for Christ's sakes. Just, can you just please, just be cool? That brake line's gone too, it looks like. It's just completely yeeted out of existence. Awesome! Fantastic. You out here somewhere? Nope, it is freaking gone. Alright, well, I guess I'm buying another one. Try this again. There we go. There we go. Wasn't so hard, was it? Okay. We are getting there. Uh, I guess it's time for the rears now. So I need this to do this. All right, need Mr. Wrench. All right, there's those. Oh my God, something worked the first time. <laughs> Somebody needs to... So he needs to call somebody. It never happens. Yes, we have almost got ourselves a car here. Okay, need a new brake line. Apparently that happens if you don't have the, the caliper bolted up. Pretty annoying though. There we go. I'm missing a control arm on this side. I'm missing one on this side too. Holy crap. That could have been bad. How did I do that? So there's four on each side. 
I was just thinking there was three. Wow. It's a good thing I saw that. Holy crap. I'm sure all you were, like, yelling at the screen. There we go. Yeah, that's a big mess of control arms back here. <laughs> ah, yes. Good stuff. German engineering at its finest right there. Okay, so let's see. This I need to put this part in. Which I can't pick up. All right, there we go. Bring her down. I thought there was more than one bolt. There is. There. Okay. Ah, stuck. And this brake line has to be tightened up to the master cylinder right there. Got it. Okay, so that's all the brake lines. Um... I got both of these, right? Yes. Okay. Back up. The thing is moving around all over the place on the left, making me nervous. All right. How do these bolt in back here? Those are a lot different than the solid rear axle cars. There it is. Okay. Got it. All right. We are moving right along here. Um, I've got a little more time. I think... I think what I need to address now is the big thing that I shouldn't have waited this long to do, but I think I need to do it. Can I put... A hard top roof on this thing. Roof. Now, is that the coupe roof or the sedan roof? So there's roof cabrio, but that's the part on the back, I think. Roof coupe, here we go. Is this gonna work? Oh, see, this has a different front pillar. Oh, this might actually work out pretty well then. Uh, it also looks like the coupe has a different trunk. Is it, how is it different than the convertible one? And where the heck is my... Oh, here it is. Asan Chop. There we go. <laughs> Well, I fixed this for nothing. We'll go in the trash. And will this just stick on there? Here we go, guys. Is this going to work? Oh, hell yes. Oh, this is this is making me excited. Fantastic. Oh, goody. Lost the electrode. Cool. Love it when that happens. Uh. 
Ah, oh, hell. <laughs> um, okay. Nice. We got ourselves a hard top, boys. This is exciting. This is very exciting. I am really, really pleased that that worked out. Because I was, I was pretty worried that it wasn't going to work out. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Look at it. Ah. Uh. Yes, it's almost uh, it's almost too pretty to look at. All right, we got we got to start thinking about mechanics and stuff now, like mechanical things. So I need a transmission. <sighs> Gearbox five. Here we go. So if you guys haven't figured out what engine I'm going to use yet, you can probably have figured it out now by what I just the selection I just made. But this is going to be a diesel race car because reasons. Cuz I love diesels, especially German ones. And we need a drive shaft. It's under suspension, isn't it? Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. And another thing that we need before I forget about it. <clears throat> fuel line the sucker doesn't have a fuel tank either does it oh yeah it does it does have one or is that just the spare the spare tire no I'm pretty sure it does because it's got it's got the filler neck and stuff yeah so it looks like we're good there and I don't have to attach it at that end. It just attaches up here. Okay. Good. Very good. Um, okay, so what we need to do now is get an engine figured out here. So we're going to have to build the entire thing from scratch, which is going to cost a boatload of money. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the block. Three point O I six D. There we go. All right, so we've got a crank. Is there a high performance crankshaft option? I don't think there is. There is a high performance camshaft option. Oh, there is one right here. All right. Give me that. And one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> That's, uh, that is all of my money. I have blown it completely. But we have this beautiful diesel block. Where's my mother effing wrench? Okay, here it is. <laughs> oh. 
this is exciting. All right, there's a full set of high performance pistons and a high performance crank. This is not what diesel pistons look like. That's okay. Ah, itchy nose. Sorry about that. Uh, one, two, three, four. Ah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. Look at us go. Yes, we've got ourselves a we've got ourselves a wolf coop with a high performance diesel being built to be our next race car so i'm going to end this episode here even though i want to keep going and just build this sucker <laughs> um but yeah i got other things to do so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today i had a great time and i hope you did too and i hope you're as excited for this car as i am because i'm really excited about it so um yeah like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Take care.